Welcome to OutDrive, folks. I'm your host, Cliff Callis, and each week I'm bringing you actionable marketing insights you can apply to reach, connect with, and convert rural American consumers. OutDrive is powered by Callis, a full-service advertising agency with a focus on marketing rural America. Callis offers a wide range of integrated marketing services, including website development, search engine marketing, social media, video, and digital. We develop strategic and creative campaigns to build your brand and your business. And you can learn more about us at ecalis.com. Now join me in the front seat as we head out on the road to success. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to OutDrive. I'm your host, Cliff Callis. And today I'm driving solo through the roads of rural America, just back from Las Vegas, where I attended the outdoor industry's biggest trade show of the year. For most of the last 25 years, I've been attending the SHOT Show, which stands for the Shooting, Hunting, and Outdoor Trade Show. For a hunter or an outdoorsman, it's like being a kid in the candy store, with all the latest products to take to the fields, the forests, the mountains, and the lakes. By my rough calculations, I've been to SHOT, as it's commonly called in the industry, 27 times. I ran into an old friend this year, champion shooter Doug Koenig, who said he thought it was his 34th shot show. Now, that's amazing. I got started back in 1995 when a client of mine, Bob Hayden, the past president of Sierra Bullets, invited me to attend. I had honestly never been to or seen a show quite like shot, but I loved every minute of it. What a great opportunity to get to know Bob and his family better to hang out with the fun crew at Sierra and later Starline Brass, to talk to their customers and to their customers' customers, and to learn about an industry that was new to me at the time, but one in which I was certainly interested. Bob told me he had been at the first shot in 1989 in St. Louis and everyone since. I wish I'd been there as well. Since 1995, I've only missed three times and I'm glad I made it this year because trade shows are back and in a big way although no one really knows whether they will ever be as big as they were pre-COVID. Although our agency's presence in this industry is nothing like it used to be, this was a great year to reconnect with folks I hadn't seen in a couple of years. Old friends, past clients, icons of the industry. Back before Trump got elected in 2016, nearly 75% of our business each year came from clients in the outdoor industry. Brands like Brownells, Walther Arms, Ed Brown, Umarex, Sinclair, Springfield Armory, Sierra, Starline Brass, and many others. At that time, the industry was rocking and rolling, spurred on by a White House administration set on taxing the industry and making it hard to get products. To combat this, manufacturers were making goods as fast as they could. Retailers were stocking everything they could and consumers were buying at a feverish pace. But when Trump was unexpectedly elected, the demand went away. Consumers now knew they could find anything they wanted, anytime they wanted. Retailers were left with huge inventories, as were manufacturers, who scrambled to put a halt to building their production. The industry slumped, and so did we. Today, the industry is back, and it was great to see the excitement again in Las Vegas as buyers browse the aisles in the Venetian and Caesars form convention areas looking for new products to offer their customers. Our business is back as well, buoyed by a repositioning strategy that broadened our customer base and focused on a new niche, marketing to rural America. What I found in Vegas is encouraging. And I would encourage you to consider putting trade shows back in your marketing mix if you haven't already. There is no better place to meet up with the number and variety of customers and potential customers than at a trade show. It gives you the opportunity, if you like, to launch new products or services at a venue and a time where you can draw extra excitement. It offers opportunities to do press conferences, live video, start promotions, and attract attention. And it tells the rest of the industry that you're still relevant or even more. At the recent SHOT Show, most all of the major brands that hadn't exhibited during COVID were back and back in a big way. It was interesting to see how some of the brands that we had worked with or prospected in the past had grown in their trade show presence how others seemingly hadn't changed, and how others just weren't there for whatever reason. 
we were honored to be invited to the 100th anniversary celebration for Lapua, where we mingled with industry leaders, media folks, and old and new friends. It was great to work the show, where a tremendous crowd moved around looking for the innovation that the industry needs to propel itself forward. I talked with past clients who talked about the new normal, very much a cliche, but very much real. I heard about plans for growth and the introduction of new products and new product lines. I heard about people I know who had left the industry and are now enjoying the fruits of their labor. I shopped in the new shot shop, but ultimately came away empty-handed for the souvenirs that I couldn't find in my size. I saw some new, super cool, tricked-out Ram trucks, ready to take on the roughest terrain the outdoors can offer. I came across civilian armored vehicles for those folks who must live in a different world than I, thank goodness. I noted some creative new exhibits, like a field tent straight out of Africa set up to display products and meet with customers, or the massive video boards around the convention center capturing the attention of the audience and entertaining this targeted group of interested viewers. I was struck by the enormity of exhibits, semi-trailers, double-decker mobile offices, oversized banners, and larger-than-life displays, and a new outdoor exhibit area perfect for the outdoor industry. Overall, I saw an industry made up of people who are passionate about what they do, a great big industry that's really quite small, an industry that's rocking and rolling again and ready to take outdoorsmen forward in business and in life. And for us as an advertising agency, with roots in this industry going back nearly 30 years, I saw the opportunity to land a new client or two that we can help build their brand and their business. You know, back in the day, manufacturers used the SHOT Show as their official release of new products. It was a really big deal. But with the advent of social media, they don't wait now. Instead, getting those new releases to market as fast as they can. I don't know who our new outdoor clients are going to be, but I do know that we'll have some. Thanks to the outdoor industry for fueling the fire within every outdoorsman. You fill a need that no one else can fill. And thanks to Vegas for hosting this show and giving everyone the opportunity to have a really great time. So until next year and next time, thanks for listening to OutDrive with my take on the SHOT Show. And come back again next week as I take you down the roads of rural America where it's heaven on earth. Thanks for taking a ride with us on OutDrive. This episode is complete, so head on over to eCallus.com for show notes and more insight you can apply to help drive your business growth. And be sure to sign up for our free monthly e-letter, OutThink, for even more helpful content about marketing to rural America. Have a great day and keep on driving.